Welcome back. Our next guests are local herbalists who are here to teach us the surprising health benefits of plantain oil and some common plants that you might find in your lawn. Welcome to co-founders of Persimmon Herb School, Colleen and Greg. Hey guys, Hi. welcome back. Hi, thank you so much for having us. Good to see you again. We're excited to have you here. We were just saying how amazing it smells right yes. now in the studio. Mm, this mm -hmm. rosemary, I, I'm like, I just walked over here. I'm like, what is that? Oh, it's just the giant it. rosemary plant right in front of me. It's so good. And yeah. this is what you guys do. You know, for anybody who hasn't been to your area, hasn't maybe taken some of your classes, how do you describe it? Uh, well, we're, um, we are an herb school and um, we have beautiful gardens. We'd like to bring people to, to help them heal and get better by making relationships with the plants. Yeah, and yeah. The nature. We always hear about food being medicine because it really does make a difference what you're putting in your body. So you're giving us an example of maybe something that you might teach people when they come to your classes, yeah. right? This is like the next level of food is medicine. So um, <clears throat> these are common herbs that maybe you wouldn't, maybe not put in your salad, yeah. or, but you take them you know, a step further and you can make healing products for your skin, mm. for your body, you can make teas, tinctures, yeah. um, and we also teach a lot about wild edibles that you can forage out okay. in parks and in the wow. wilderness. That's great. What did you bring with you? I mean, these are all locally picked. I mean, they this look is from our yard. Yeah. Oh, so beautiful. yeah, when you come out to our place, you would see huge gardens. We have chickens, dog, cat, all that. And so I got the sunflowers this morning. I have our plantain, which we're going to focus on today. Okay. The coneflower, which is a common plant, a native uh, pollinator plant that people will use, but it's also used as an immune support. Okay. So oh, wow. okay. teas and tinctures. Um, this is a really common, it was actually the first herb that I was introduced to as a medicinal plant. Okay. And, um, and then we have yarrow, which is another common native plant that's uh, used for horticultural decoration, but nice. is really good for blood and uh, wounds. And okay. Really? Wow. It's amazing. That is so interesting. When you said plantain, yeah. is that similar to like, it's a cousin of like a banana, right? Is that what it is? Not quite. Okay. We get that question a lot. A okay. um, All right. But there's a whole group of plants, there's hundreds of them across the northern hemisphere okay. that are also called plantain. And the one we have uh, here, this is a broadleaf plantain. Okay. It's Plantago rugelia is a scientific name. You might find this though growing like right in your yard, yeah, right really? outside your doorstep. That's wow. where we have the most of it. Okay. Um, it loves oh. disturbed areas. It likes compacted like soil. Like the gravel yeah. you see there. There okay. you go. Okay. Oh, I was in Fountain Square. Oh, nice. wow. Okay. I had no idea. I was also thinking of the banana cousin yeah. first. Yeah. yeah, yeah I was yeah. like right, right. not totally sure. Common names are common. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. that's what we say. Uh, we, if you really want to drill down into it, you learn the scientific names and yeah. that's how you can tell them apart. So how can you use that into something that's going to benefit your health? There's a lot of ways to use it. The easiest way is probably just to take a leaf of this and chew it up and then stick it on. Huh. Right? It's called a, we call it a spit poultice. Okay. A poultice really? is just when you're putting plants on the skin directly on there. Okay. Um, and I teach kids to do this with bee stings. Bug bites, oh, yeah. um, eczema, psoriasis even can benefit from yeah. this kind really? of thing. Mm -hmm. um, of course, eczema and psoriasis being dry skin conditions, they do better in an infused oil. Okay. Mm. So we like to take the fresh leaves and infuse them into an olive oil or some kind of oil base. And um, you know, with, when you're working with fresh plants and you're infusing them into oil, of course you have the whole issue of oil and water yeah, mixing. Right. So there's a little bit of special processing. So what we do is take the fresh plants. Put them in the blender. And they go in the blender. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay, so we'll kind of demonstrate this a little bit. These just go in whole. These have been washed and um, dried. Okay. Yeah. yeah, we just used a salad spinner. Okay. Nice. And it's kind of like making a pesto, but a little bit thinner. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so you'd put that in and then pour in your oil and okay. blend it until it gets yep. like a nice consistency. <laughs> yep. um, and then with our blender, with the Vitamix, you can actually yeah. blend it till it gets hot. Oh, wow. Oh, and wow. the heat helps to draw out the medicinal properties into the oil. Wow. We're not doing that today because it's very loud. Because it's loud. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So that is, is this how it ends up looking? Mm -hmm. So yeah, I so made wow. that on. Okay. Uh, Saturday, I think. Okay. So we blend it up, it goes through the strainer, and we strain out all the solids. Yeah. But you get this oil and water mix, and it's yeah. kind of the sludgy stuff. So what happens is, after a couple of days, you can see here where you have like this clean oil on top, yep. mm -hmm. and then at the mm -hmm. bottom there's a sludgy layer. Yeah. That's right. like the plant juices and the fibers and things. That will ferment and actually mold and will 
damage your product. Okay. So what we do is just let it sit a couple days to yeah. separate naturally. Sure. We decant the beautiful, fresh, clean oil. Wow. So you decant right it. That's a, oh, look oh how beautiful gosh. that, that looks is. Absolutely. So beautiful. that's just olive oil with plantain. So that green yeah. color really? is from the plant. Nice. And then we use that actually that little can right in front of you, mm -hmm. right? The, yeah. On the ground. Yep, that one. Yep. So that's this plantain oil mixed with beeswax. Okay. And oh wow. That's how you make a salve. Nice. And, and then that you can put on like yep. you said like. Uh, bites or eczema or anything, anything. like that. Anything. So it's restorative. Wow. Okay. We recommend for cuts and scrapes. I call it yeah. like an herbal neosporin, so yeah. it's going to help promote healing and, and, and all natural. Uh, yes. Yeah. That's you great. Know. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, hey, and, and we also have a code right there on the screen for you guys. It's now 15 for 15% 15 off if you go to their online shop through July 12th. Thank you for doing that. Thank that you. is so nice. Yeah, and you guys can keep that. Oh, absolutely. thank you. Oh, that's thank great. you. Love it. Thanks, guys. Yeah, you never know when you're going to need yeah, that. Yeah, sorry it's so. unlabeled, but you'll remember. That's yeah, okay. Yeah, Go yeah, check them out. Know. Persimmon Herb School. Thanks so much, thank guys. You. Thank that you. That was so awesome. Yeah.